Потому ли женщины прошлого и настоящего без права? Is it due to the dominance of the light-bearing channel that women have had and still have less rights than men? Not as much due to the light-bearing channel as to the patriarchal system that is based mainly on the Abrahamic paradigm. Patriarchy in general has found itself in Abrahamism, simply because all its sacred writings support it. Why was it so important to them? Because the earth lived according to the principle of matriarchy for a very long time. And the sacred feminine right, the mother real right, it existed and for quite a long time. Even when Christianity reached Europe, many laws in our society were still reflecting the motherly right the abolishment of which has been a long fight for the incoming patriarchate. Still, until this day, some laws in our societies continue echoing this motherly right, although they do so less and less. And what we see happening nowadays are the attempts to shed the yoke of patriarchy. Unluckily, it is being done in a rough, dirty and a non-elegant manner. Take, for example, the now quite popular Harassment Institute. These are indeed attempts to restore the motherly right and matriarchy in general. Only the way it is being done, if considered from a pagan point of view, completely offsets the noble intent. As in paganism, there is a rule that says that even the most noble intent, the most noble goal, the highest of the high, if it was attained by the means of dishonorable, dirty ways, if it was tainted with deceit, then the objective itself turns out to be just as dirty. Unluckily. This is why I always tell you, and my students repeatedly tell you, that you should never lie. Especially now at the time when everything is being determined, when each word you say can play a key role, when each decision you make can turn out to be the last drop in defining who you are and what reality you should live in. A free person will never lie. And you know why? Because there is nobody she should show off to. Because she doesn't need to become better than she actually is. Because the only person a free warrior will have to answer to is himself alone. And naturally his own gods. Lying to them is useless. And lying to yourself is pointless. Whereas if you are depending on someone else, that is when the lies are appropriate. But if you are dependent on someone, you absolutely are not free. This is an easy logic. Only serfs lie. If you are no serf, if you are free, take it as a rule to never lie. Don't lie. Not lying doesn't mean telling all the truth about yourself to everybody straight away. It means not presenting lies for the truth. If you don't want to tell the truth about yourself, you shouldn't lie. But you can honestly say, I don't want to tell you the truth about myself. And this will be way more honest than any of those tricks that serfs do. I really hope I have convinced you, colleagues. We still have the opportunity to correct those mistakes we made. We still have this half a year to reconsider and become aware of what is happening from a different point of view. Nobody is demanding anything from you. Because the future reality will be unfolding itself from you towards the environment around you. And you will be the heart of it. And reality will mirror your inner core. You will very soon realize it. There can be as many scenarios as you want there to be. And if you take a moment to look around, observe the world around you and understand that it is the embodiment of your most magnificent desires, it means that all happened just as you wanted. But if you look around and see that it is the embodiment of your most awful fears, it means that you have also gotten exactly what you wanted. Therefore, right now, everything depends on you alone and what you will be wanting. I very much wish that you the one who seek, receive exactly the reality you desire and not the one you fear. And remember that in magic, the power of desires and the power of fears is absolutely equal as magic evaluates it according to the magnitude and not according to the sign.